Hello friends, you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today we will understand what is a cumulative distribution function. We call it as CDF in short. We will also discuss here various properties of uh, CDF. But before uh, knowing CDF, it is necessary to understand what is a sample space and random variable. So a sample space is nothing but the range of all the possible outcomes of an experiment is known as the sample space while a random variable is a function which can take on any value from the sample space and having range of some set of real numbers is known as the random variable of that experiment we will understand it with the help of an example what we mean by sample space and a random variable because it is necessary to understand it before getting idea about cdf so we will uh, understand it in short so we will understand it with the help of an uh, interesting example here we are tossing three coins at the same time simultaneously let's toss three coins then the sample space would be the range of all the possible outcomes here we may have either three heads it means uh, three heads on each of these uh, coin okay we may have uh, three tails or two heads one tail and uh, these this arrangement two head head tail head and tail head 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 tail tail in this way so there are total um, eight outcomes two into two into two because uh, first coin may have two um, options two possibilities head or tail second may have head or tail third may have two possibilities so two into two into two is two cube equals to eight combinations so eight possibilities so this range of all possible values of this outcome is the sample space so this is the sample space now random variable is what we take some values from this sample space so we may have uh, any uh, any random variable let's suppose this variable is x denoted as x and it is just the number of tails in the random very uh, in the in this experiment so let's represent this random variable by x capital x okay uh, please note this that uh, these random variables are represented by capital letters okay so here we are taking the random variable as number of tails okay so number of tails here here number of tails is zero in this head these are two heads one tail is only so one here only one tail so one one two tails so two 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 and three so these are number of tails so we have uh, named this variable as x and it denotes some values it represents some values from the sample space having the number of tails okay so we represent this by x1 x2 x3 okay the just give them these um, these variables are representing these numbers so this is the sample space and the concept of random variable now you can easily understand the cumulative distribution function so let's define first the cdf cumulative distribution function the cumulative distribution function cdf of a random variable x may be defined as the probability that the random variable x takes a value less than or equal to x okay mathematically we can define this cdf we represent this uh, cdf by capital f and uh, this x capital and this is small x just uh, notice this notation okay so it uh, it can be defined as cdf this is the representation probability that this random variable x is less than or equal to x small x these are the values capital x you know random variable that takes on some values from the sample space okay that range in if we talk about uh, our example of tossing three simultaneous uh, three coins simultaneously we need the uh, cdf that the, what is the probability that uh, the number of tails would be less than three okay we can define this uh, cumulative distribution function for continuous random variables and also for discrete random variables other names for cdf it is also known 
by other names like uh, probability distribution function of the random variable another name is distribution function of the random variable third name is cumulative probability distribution function you should know all these three names of cdf now let's come to the properties of cumulative distribution function the property number one as cdf is defined as uh, probability that x is less than or equals to x so its value is always between 0 and 1 because we know that uh, probability it is a probability function and probability has uh, value between 0 and 1 so its value is always between 0 and 1 okay property number 2 it tells you when its value is 0 and when its value is 1 so fx minus infinity is 0 and fx infinity is 1 because we know that uh, it is defined as probability that x is less than equals to x so this minus infinity shows that this probability that x is less than equals to minus infinity would be zero because we know that nothing can be uh, smaller than the minus infinity so the probability that uh, this x would be smaller than the minus infinity is zero and uh, in the same way the probability that x would be smaller than the infinity would be 1 because this is the largest number possible infinity and it is sure that this x would be less than the infinity so its probability is 1 it's a, it's a sure event so this is 1 property number 3 property number 3 states that fx x1 is less than equals to fx x2 if x1 is less than equals to x2 it means it, it implies that uh, according to this property we can easily deduce that fx is this cumulative distribution function is a monotone non-decreasing function of x because whenever any function is uh, a non-decreasing function then as the value of uh, value of the x-axis increases or you can say value of the uh, independent variable uh, increases then the dependent variable value is also increased because it is continuously increasing or it is not decreasing okay so if x1 is smaller than x2 then certainly because of this uh, non-decreasing function of x this fx of x1 would be smaller than fx of x2 if x is small then fx of x there is also small now come to the cumulative distribution function for discrete random variables so here if this capital x is a discrete random variable then it takes on values at discrete points because uh, continuous uh, random variables have a continuous range of values while discrete have certain countable number of values so cdf can be defined for this case as as we know that this uh, cdf we know this definition by the mathematically we can uh, denote it as a probability that this random variable x is smaller than or less than or equals to x so here uh, suppose this x contains these certain values from x1 to xn these all values are in this random variable x so this is the number line and we can represent these all values of x on this number line starting from x1 to xn from x1 to xn and here it is uh, uh, up to minus infinity in this side left side and this x values are tending towards infinity in the right side so now we will define the cdf for this uh, discrete random variable for the complete range of x this fx of x would be zero for this small x lying minus infinity to between minus infinity to x1 it means that this x is smaller than the x1 so see the diagram we are taking values when this is smaller the values these are all the values of these all are the values of x small x and uh, you should understand the difference between this capital x and small x this capital x is the random variable and these are the values of this certain values of this random variable small x so here we are taking this small x to be lesser than this x1 
so if this x is less than um, x1 then according to this uh, property according to this uh, definition of cdf the probability fx 0 if this x is smaller than x1 then what is the probability that this capital x this random variable is less than or equals to x okay since this x is already uh, less than this x1 so its probability is 0 because this is the smallest value for capital x and the probability that this x capital X would be smaller than this X1 is 0 because this is already the smallest value. So it cannot be smaller than X1. But if you consider this case that uh, X lies between Xn and infinity that is it should be it should be greater than this it, it is greater than the Xn. Since uh, Xn is the largest value of this uh, random variable and uh, this is lying in this range so according to the definition the cdf definition is probability that this capital x is less than or equals to this x and this x is greater than this xn so the probability that uh, this x would be smaller than this x which is already greater than this xn would be 1 because all the values are in this capital x are smaller than the xn so its probability are you getting it don't get confused so the probability that this capital x would be smaller than this x which is already greater than this xn would be 1 because it is sure that it would be lesser than this one so this these were the two cases so the third case is when x lies between x1 and xn that is this is the range where the x lies small x lies so the cdf in this case would be summation j equals to 1 to n probability that x equals to xj here j lies from 1 to n suppose n equals to 3 uh, like uh, let's take x3 value so fx x3 then the probability that this random variable x is smaller than x3 would be j equals to 1 to 3 probability that x is equals to x1 plus probability just sum these probability that x is equals to x2 plus probability that x equals to x3 so it is thus the summation so we can uh, write it as cdf cumulative distribution function of a discrete variable at any certain event let's say x3 okay so if you are uh, taking x3 then it is the probability x equals to x1 plus probability that x equals to x2 plus probability that x equals to x3 summation of all the values smaller than this so cdf of a discrete variable at any certain event is equal to the summation of the probabilities of the random variable up to that certain event from if we are taking x and n as 4 so it would be the summation of probabilities from x equals to x1 to x4 okay so from this you can easily understand that as x varies from minus infinity to infinity the graph of a cdf resembles a staircase with upward steps having height probability x equals to xj at each x equals to xj so the height of this step this would be something like let's see here the graph would be something like this this is staircases okay so at each x equals to xj suppose at x equals to x3 so it would be the point x equals to x3 its its height would be probability that x equals to x3 at x equals to x4 its height would be step height would be probability that x equals to x4 but here you should note one thing that the graph of uh, cdf remains constant between the two steps or events as you can see here this is the shape of this graph it remains constant between these two steps or events okay x1 at x2 okay so these are the heights 
this denotes the probability at that x okay so i hope you got the point of uh, cumulative distribution function we discussed here what is cumulative distribution function and also the random variables and the sample space concept along with the properties of it so hope you like the video so please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more videos in the next video we will see the probability density function pdf its properties and other topics so keep watching engineering made easy thanks for watching bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye